problem with my arm from the shoulder, and I just start cutting off at the wrist, and the elbow, and then the shoulder. Is that a lot of pain for nothing? What should I do? Just get it right in the shoulder. Let's move on, right? So let's talk about 21 mils. Let's go to the next slide. Um, the maximum tax rate of 21 mils will be insufficient to meet the first financial item on the QE list. And there's more. And there's more than both systems have identified. And we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to talk about how it affects you and me. So here's the new consolidated tax data based on the 2,802,088. Here's the new one, 21 mils. Everybody that, 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 we'll talk about who's going to do this in a few minutes, but 21 mils, $58,843,848. That's provided that all the property we currently have stays assessed at the same level, up or down. That's provided that everybody's capable of paying 21 mils. And that's provided we can collect that whole amount. So $45 million earlier, right? $58 million here, that means we have $13 million to work with. Okay? $13 million. How much was the first item the QE had on their list that we need to do? $16 million. Do we have a deficit? $3 million already. $3 million. Okay? Next slide, please, Alan. Um, there are other costs associated with consolidation as identified by QE. I received some information yesterday and from their uh, national consultant. They said that the lounge the school systems have not commented on capital improvements. And one of the things that has been indicated that, the, that we would like to have more elementary schools and that we would like to have another high school. So I took that data and uh, Mr. Taylor and I, based on the, what we paid recently for building elementary and middle schools, and called a couple of folks that built high schools and in excess of $200 million to build the buildings that are being asked for. That's assuming that we have the land to put them on, that we can furnish them, and that we can maintain them year after year after year. I'm just building the buildings, okay? How about recommended additional professional development? The business model that was presented in the financial data for the consolidated school system said that businesses should spend 2% of their annual budget, or $1.5 million, based on their data, on professional development. Annually. We, we have been in a tough shape in the last nine years of school system finances. I've been in two different systems since then. We had to spend one and a half million dollars in, in 10 years on professional development. We've been training each other. We don't have anybody that's been through consolidation and can train us, right? Or I don't know of anybody, Dr. Casey, maybe. He's been through it one time before, I believe. But, but we can't train each other on this process. We've got to bring people in. One and a half million dollars in. Let's go to the next one. There are other costs associated with consolidation not anticipated by Q. We do talk with Valley City School Systems a lot. They're my friends. They help me. They tell me what I'm doing right and wrong. Let's look and see what happens. Here we go. Consolidation will increase cost. Consolidation will increase cost in new classes, transportation, technology, software, benefits, salaries, legal, and per pupil expenditures that have already been identified. Let's see what else it does. Next slide, please, 